In this video, I will show you how to combine data from different worksheets of an Excel workbook using Power Query. See this workbook called Marklist. There are four different worksheets in this workbook. And these are the scores of 40 plus students from four different groups. Now to combine this data into a single worksheet, let me open a new workbook. File, Blank Workbook. Go to the Data tab, Get Data, From File, From Excel Workbook. Using this dialog, we have to select the Excel file containing data. Mark List, Import. A dialog called Navigator is activated. And here is the selected Excel file and the list of worksheets in it. On right side, we have the preview of the data in the selected worksheet. Now we have to select a worksheet in this list. It can be any worksheet. Transform data. See the data in the selected worksheet is loaded into the Power Query Editor of Excel. But we want data from all four worksheets of the workbook called Mark List. For that, in the Query Settings pane, delete these applied steps. Now in the column called Name, we have the worksheet names. And the second column called data has the data table from corresponding worksheets. Let's delete the remaining columns. For that, select the columns, right click on the column header, remove columns. Now to expand these data tables, click on this button, expand, and mark this checkbox. OK. And here we have the data from all four worksheets of the workbook called Mark List. To get rid of the repeating column headers, use first row as headers. Click on this filter head. Unmark the checkbox against this column header. OK. And the repeating column headers are gone. Right now this first column has the worksheet names. If you want to remove this column, right click on the column header, remove. But I will keep this column as it is. To rename the column header, double click, type in the column name, and Now to load this data into an Excel worksheet, click on close and load. See the data from all four worksheets of the workbook called Mark List is combined into a single worksheet. And here is the best part. This workbook called Additional Data has scores from three more groups, yellow, orange, and red. Let's copy these sheets into the workbook called Mark List. Select the worksheets. Right click. Move or copy. Select the workbook called Mark List. Move to end. Create a copy. OK. Now the workbook called Mark List has three more worksheets, yellow, orange, and red. Let's save this file. Back to the workbook which we used to combine data. Right now this worksheet has data from four worksheets of the workbook called Mark List. 47 rows. And see what happens when I click on this button called Refresh. 71 rows loaded. Data from the newly added worksheets. That is yellow, orange and red code added to the output table. Means not only that we combined data from multiple worksheets, but also automated that process. In the next video, we will discuss about a Python program for combining data from multiple worksheets. Let me show you how this program works. We'll execute the program. Select the Excel file containing data. Open. See a new Excel file is created. Let me open this file. Data from different worksheets of the selected workbook is combined into a single worksheet.